Hello, Mr. Baker. How are you? Good. How are you? The last time you faced the Chiefs, I believe you had a very memorable play with a sack for a loss of 30 yards against Patrick Mahomes. What is the key to sacking Mahomes on a 30-yard loss? Uh, what is the key? I'm going to give all the credit to the DBs, you know. Um, they was covering pretty well that play. I would kind of made the first move, made him get out the pocket. And I just kind of, you know, did the rest. So, Is that the favorite play of your regular season career? Nah. Uh, actually, my favorite play I wasn't even in. Um, the Miami Miracle, that was pretty cool to me. So, uh, But that was definitely a cool play. What are your thoughts overall on defending Mahomes and also, of course, uh, Travis Kelsey? Oh, we just got to play together. As simple as that. You know, we have the, the guys to do that. We have the, the scheme to do that. We play together and um, play as one defense, we'd be all right. So uh, that's just the main key. What's going on, Big? How you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, doing all right. I wanted to ask, we've been talking a lot about the scramble drill with Mahomes. You know, a lot of athletic quarterbacks have that, but it seems more so for him. It's like a staple of his play. Um, Tariq was saying there's a power point that the Chiefs have. Uh, what are kind of the teaching points for you guys as, as rushers, uh, specifically for Mahomes when he leaves the pocket? Yeah, when you're a rusher, rush them. Um, when you're in coverage and somebody's around you, plaster, which plaster is just grab the guy that, you know, is in your zone. So um, that, that's the main thing. Don't try to do too much. What gets people in trouble is you're a coverage guy and you're trying to rush them. Um, now you're leaving somebody wide open. So um, just, just real simple. Um, just do your job and we'll be all right. Hey, boss, I hope you're doing good. Um, Welcome in Frankfurt, welcome in Germany. Um, how do you like it as a player to play outside of the US, to play here in Europe? Is that cool or is it like there's a lot of downside of traveling? Yeah, so I was actually just thinking about that um, on the field. It's super cool, you know. Yeah. Uh, just growing up, you know, a lot of us played when we were six, five, seven years old. And just to see that uh, years later we're in a different country and you're doing what we love, there's nothing better than that. And, just being here, I, I, it's truly an uh, amazing experience, and I'm having fun. That's cool. And if you could play in any other country after Germany, which country would it be? Dubai. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Last one right here, and then we're going to get It's a little bit um, in the same uh, feeling as the question before, but if when you enter this stadium, you guys are kind of used to big stadiums, like with a lot of – you know, glitter and glamour. Um, what this? What did this stadium feel like? Uh, this one over this here? This practice one, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, it just felt like a regular stadium. Um, you know, we played in a lot of different stadiums just growing up, so uh, we all kind of used to, you know, different types of stadiums. But uh, I think the main thing, we're just in a different country, you know. It's just a different feeling, and um, it's definitely exciting for us.